Yo, YouTube. I just want to make this video real quick. Um, you know, because we're all in our heart space right now. We're all tapping into our joy, what we love in life. Um, and I just kind of wanted to uh, bring up like a perfect example of a situation that I was in. In 2013, I was working as a temp to the business manager at Sharp BMW. And then I also was in the interview process for Kids Food Basket, which Kids Food Baskets feeds children. Um, and it started at the elementary school I attended where a lot of kids went hungry. Um, and um, I was in my fourth round interview for it and I was just a temp at the finance or at the um, dealership to the finance manager and the guy ended up quitting the same day I started and shit and so they had hired somebody else and I was his assistant so I'm like taking my lunch breaks to go to this other fucking job interviews and shit and I'm in like the fifth round process and you know at one of the interviews they're like even yeah of course you don't want to stay working for bmw and and rich people with without goals when um you could be helping feed hungry children and all this 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 judgment on these people you know and i'm like of course obviously i work for a charity obviously i'm a good person obviously i have a big heart you know and um uh they they play with me so finally like at the fifth interview I'm like man I done took time off my job to come fuck with y'all this time if y'all don't know I'm the person I'm not the person fuck off you know what I'm saying email I'm like no I'm long longer interested in the position fuck you and I went to the owners at Sharp the general sales manager and them and they're like fuck yeah your your position here is guaranteed at whatever whatever their salary for their administrative guaranteed at that plus we're gonna put you in a chance to make some commission fuck them I'm like all right bet they brought me on board like I was family. There's their the Sharp family. God bless their soul. The men that started it, they awesome family. Like I love working for a family-owned business. It don't matter whether they're selling BMWs or we flipping chicken. Like I love working for a family. But anyways, um, and they ended up teaching me the whole car business and shit. And which hey, you know whatever. I got Mercury and Jupiter and Gemini in my tenth house. So really thought I was on a path, huh? <laughs> anyways, I'm digressing. So I um love my position there but what I really learned was that not all rich people are assholes especially people with a lot of money really wealthy people are really genuine and really kind and a lot of them deserve their money they're good people that take good care of their families and they want the best for the world and they worked really hard to buy a BMW not all of them some of them are dumb some of them are leasing out of their price range because they got the first quarter million salary you know some people are really greedy and arrogant but there were a lot of really good nice friendly loving millionaires and billionaires buying Range Rovers and beamers and all of that and um it made me stop judging people with money a lot because i used to think like they're all just greedy and selfish and such is not the case you know and um i just think about how this uh was the same with the charity people they just automatically assumed you know we we're putting fucking dreams in driveways some of these people work their entire lives to get their beamer to get their range rover to get their jag you know so why shit on that they're not over there like BMWs are way more important than even starving kids. <laughs> I don't know. I really like the Holy Key song by Kendrick Lamar. Because he says, who knew that oysters abortions my desire need? You know? Who knew that we need the riches of life? Who knew our soul needed beauty? Have a good day, too.